My name is Katherine Castor and this is my Sheep Sarse section video. External anatomy of the heart. The visceral epicardium with the outer layer or the outer membranous layer of the heart, as you can see right here. The apex will be located right here on the bottom of the heart and the base would be right here on the top. The right atria is located in this area and the left atria is located around this area. The blood in the right atrium is deoxygenated and the blood in the left atrium is oxygenated. The right auricles and left auricles um, are these pouches right here. This will be the right and this will be uh, the left one. Uh, essentially they are wrinkled pouch-like structures and their purpose is to increase the capacity of the atrium and also increase the volume of the blood that is um, that the atrium is able to contain. The right uh, ventricle will be in this area and the left ventricle will be located in this area. The interventricular sulcus um, will be the, these um, uh, blood vessels around this area and um, the major blood vessels that are found in this sulcus are the, um, the um, coronary um, arteries and the cardiac veins. Now the pulmonary trunk, um, the pulmonary trunk is um, these arteries right here um, in this area of the heart and um, they carry deoxygenated from the uh, right ventricle to um, the lungs. All right, so the aorta will be this um, artery right here. Um, and uh, this is also where the ascending aorta will be located um, with its three major vessels, the brachiocephalic artery branching out and the left common carotid um, also branching out from here and um, the left subclavian also branching out from this area which has been actually cut out from this heart. Now, um, the aorta is uh, the systematic arteries that carry blood from the left side of the heart, um, the left ventricle, um, to um, other parts of the body like limbs and organs except the lungs and the blood um, that it comes out of through these um, uh, through this trunk is actually um, oxygenated okay so the superior vena cava is this vein right here and it's on the top of the heart um, and the inferior will be located right on the bottom around this area um, the coronary uh, sinus are these veins um, located right around here and um, where are these blood vessels um, going? Where they're going to the right chamber of, um, of the heart and um, they are carrying uh, deoxygenated uh, blood. Internal anatomy of the heart. Okay, so this right here will be the pectinate, um, pectinate, which is the inner uh, wall of the right atrium. Um, the myocardium is this um, this layer right here, and right here, which is the inner layer. Um, and why is the myocardium of the left layer three times thicker than that of the right? Um, ventricle and the reason is um, because um, the um, left ventricle has to create more pressure to pump blood into the aorta through the systematic circulation. The traverculate carnate on the inner surface of the ventricles is located around here. The interventricular septum is located around here. The bicuspid or mitral valve is located around here, 
and the tricuspid uh, valve is located around here. The um, uh, chordae tendine um, is located around here. And the cups of the valve are these cups right here and right here. Okay, so the papillary muscle uh, will be around here. Um, the uh, pulmonary semilunar um, valve will be around here. And the um, aortic semilunar valve is around here.